Would you agree to have your eyes scanned in return for cryptocurrency? Well, let me guess. It depends on which crypto and how much, right? Worldcoin would be the cryptocurrency you would receive in this case in exchange for scanning your eye. It's safe to say that the peculiar rollout plan of Worldcoin, a cryptocurrency project that aims to pilot universal basic income using a device called the Orb, caught my attention. Today, I'm going to explain what Worldcoin is all about and whether it's worth your attention. There are two disclaimers you should take in before I bring out the orb. The world coin I'll be discussing today isn't yet available, but it will be in the near future. Second, nothing in this video is financial advice. It's merely a lesson. If that's what you are here looking for, contact someone else who works in the financial industry. If this is your first time visiting, my name is Antoine and I'm interested in educating people on cryptocurrency. I'm driven by obsession to provide the best crypto material you've ever seen. If this sounds too good to be true, subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell. Just know that watching until the end is the best way to support the Lusambo media. So let's get started with Worldcoin. Worldcoin was founded by Sam Altman, Alex Blania, and Max Novenstein. Now Sam's involvement in the project is one of the primary reasons why it has received so much media attention. This is because Sam is famous for being the former president of Y Combinator, a startup accelerator which is responsible for launching more than 3,000 companies including Twitch, Reddit and Airbnb. Y Combinator also incubated crypto companies like Coinbase and crypto projects like Filecoin and OpenSea, many of whom received funding during Sam's tenure. Sam even co-founded OpenAI with Tesla CEO Elon Musk in 2015 and subsequently left his post as president of Y Combinator in 2019 to focus on OpenAI where he serves as CEO. Now as for Alex, he is a theoretical physicist who quote used neural networks to predict quantum systems during his master's at the esteemed Caltech Institute of Technology. Max, on the other hand, is a Harvard graduate who briefly worked for Bridgewater Associates, the famous hedge fund headed by Ray Dalio. Now, according to Bloomberg, Sam came up with the idea for Worldcoin in late 2019 and tapped Alex and Max to make his vision come true. In short, Sam sees Worldcoin as an opportunity to create a prototype for Universal Basic Income or UBI which Sam sees as inevitable due to, the, due to the rapid rise of artificial intelligence. Sam actually suggested using AI to pay for UBI in a lengthy, easy or essay earlier this year, which drew criticism from some AI experts. Now, it's not entirely clear exactly when WordCoin was founded, as Alex and Max's profiles provide different dates. What is clear though is that WorldCoin is being developed by a for profit software company registered in Delaware but based in San Francisco called the Tools for Humanity Corporation, which was founded in August 2019. 
the WorldCoin website specifies the non-profit WorldCoin Foundation will soon be incorporated to oversee the project which is based in both San Francisco and Berlin in Germany. Now, WorldCoin was hoping to stay in stealth mode at the start, but this cover was blown when the project raised $25 million from some of the biggest names in crypto back in June. According to Forbes, WorldCoin's initial investors included, quote, Andreas and Horowitz, Coinbase Ventures, and angel investors, including Sam Bankman-Fried, the founder of FTX, as well as the founders of Solana and Polkadot. Sam's star power, combined with WorldCoin's high-profile investors, resulted in a predictable response from both crypto and legacy media when Sam officially announced the project on Twitter last week. Now, what really got people going, though, was WorldCoin's promise of free crypto in exchange for gazing into one of WorldCoin's orbs. And this brings me on to how WorldCoin works. So please watch the next video to, to learn how WorldCoin works. How WorldCoin works. As I mentioned a few moments ago, WorldCoin's purpose is to be a prototype for universal basic income. UBI ultimately requires two things, a payment system and an identity system. So starting with the payment system, WorldCoin's need to be able to scale to billions of users. To do this, WorldCoin is using optimistic rollups built on Ethereum. WorldCoin's rollup mechanism is not currently open source, though the WorldCoin website does note that the code will be open sourced soon. Another crucial part of WorldCoin's payment system is upcoming WorldCoin Wallet app. The WorldCoin Wallet will be non-custodial and we quote, allow users to use their WorldCoin throughout the Ethereum ecosystem. When it comes to WorldCoin's identity system, it will use the iris, i.e. the colored part of the eye to ensure that the same person can't claim UBI twice. According to WorldCoin, there are three reasons why they choose to use the iris as proof of personhood. First, no two irises are alike, not even for identical twins, which is what you want to create a unique identity. Second, irises are extremely hard to modify, which makes them resistant to fraud. There are of course colored contacts you can wear, which will change your iris and I'll come back to those in a second. Third, scanning someone's iris is much easier to do than any alternative such as fingerprinting, facial recognition and DNA sequencing. As you've probably gathered by now, WorldCoin will scan people's irises using a big shiny camera called the Orb.